In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up multiple blog post pages so you can organize your blog better and you can have a separate page for each category of blog posts that you have. So essentially, you're going to have multiple blog post pages and each of those pages is going to list posts. This was a community request from you guys out there watching on YouTube. I hope this video helps and we're getting started right now. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe, then hit the bell icon so you don't miss anything. Now with that out of the way, let's head in the screen capture and start building these multiple blog post pages. I'll see you there. Most of the time a website will have one page for its blog. In this example, we've got a home page and a blog page. If we click on the blog, it's gonna have a listing of all the posts on the site listed in whatever order, usually chronological, but you can customize the order they, sh they appear in. People can click through and read each one individually however they want, but sometimes you might want to have multiple pages for your blog post. Maybe you have thousands of blog posts and you want to break them up into themes. Now the way we do that is by adding categories. So if we head over to our dashboard and go to posts, hover over it and then click on categories, we need to add different categories in here you need to add the categories that you want to filter by. So I have airplanes, movies, and sports for this example. I quickly created those just by typing in the name of the category here, the slug of the category here, then clicking add new category. That's it, you're done. Once you have your categories created, you head over to your posts and you check the ones that you wanna go into each category. So let's say you wanna have this one and this one, and that's it. Go into the airplanes category, you check the ones that you want in there, click on this drop down, click on edit, click on apply, check the airplanes category, then click on update. And now those posts are categorized in the airplanes category. Then you go ahead, do the same thing for another set of posts to add them to a different category. I already have this one added to movies, so I'm just gonna check all the ones that are movies already. So you check them all, go to bulk actions, click edit, click apply, check the category you want them in, click on update, and that adds that category to that post. Now once you have those all organized, next thing you wanna do is head into Appearance and then go to Menus. Now we wanna add those categories to our navigation menu. And we do this by choosing the Category option on the left here. It's gonna list all of our categories. I wanna add Sports, Movies, and Airplanes. I check them, click on Add to Menu, and that adds them to our top level navigation menu. So let's take a look how this looks. Save the menu, go back to our page and refresh. Now if we click on any of these, it looks like a regular blog page, but it's actually a category page. It lists only the ones in that specific category. Same for movies, same for airplanes. And you can have as many of these categories as you want, but realistically you don't want to have too many because they can get confusing and a little overwhelming. You can also add these as a dropdown. Say you don't want to have them all listed in the main header, but you want them under blog. You go back into your menu, just drag these to the right a little bit, click and hold. You see the dash box moves over, so it looks like a child of the blog. So they're all indented, then click on Save Menu. Refresh this page again. Now our top level menu looks a lot cleaner. We've got a little down arrow by the blog. If we hover over it, we see our options, sports, movies, airplanes. That's how easy it is to create multiple blog post pages. I hope this video helps you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below the video. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe, then hit the bell icon so you don't miss anything. And next up is clicking one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you can learn even more about WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.